for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you up this time Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is so mapped out a great day for us. Yeah, betting on the Eastern Bank paid off. Fish are running strong out there. Time and tide, wait for no man. That is why you gotta keep up with me. <laughs> Used to be one of those people, remember? So you know. Ain't so bad smelling like a fish. Spoken like a true prince. So, someday you're gonna make a fine skipper. I don't see you going anywhere, Captain. Can't do this forever. Shutterbot. Hi, Janice. Ask who just sat down for brunch at Lorena and not with his wife. Who? You're not gonna guess? No. Nope. Who is it? <laughs> just get down here. It's big. I'm on my way. Not today, little buddy. to get back out there again. Ugh, you and me both. Freedom, the open seas, nothing like it. I gotta be honest, it would be nice to not constantly smell so fishy. Well, it's better than being cooped up in an office somewhere like a parakeet in a plastic cage. I don't know how people do it. Ain't that the truth? All right, so, what's the big deal? Right over there. Big as life. Well, if it isn't our beloved bad boy, we just lost a record deal. I think his wife knows. I doubt it. She's probably at home paying the nursery. Some guys. I know. Hey, Shutterbot. How's it going? Great. So you showed up? Oh, I didn't know this was by invitation only. I'll be sure to get out of your hair, okay? That'd be wonderful. Oh, it's a pleasure, JPEG. Pleasure's all yours. For your vital contribution to photojournalism. Scandal-loving population thanks you. Do what I can. Bye, JPEG. Make sure when it's time to roll up the nets, you keep them straight. Otherwise, they're going to pinch and bind. That's bad, right? Let's just say whoever did that should remember that there are sharks out there. I may be right. Maybe it is time for me to get back out there. That's the blimp soul spirit. So how long you figure you're going to be laid up? Well, doctor says weeks, but I'm really okay. Well, at least that gives us some time to arrange someone to be with you. Look, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Oh, Mark? Goodness sakes. I'll call you tomorrow. Uh. What's up? Your Aunt Dodie. Seems she was out walking Goldie, took a spill. Is she okay? Well, she's nursing a compound fracture, and that's going to take some time to knit I... back together. 
She's gonna need someone to look after her. I, I don't think I know anyone in LA anymore. Well, it's gotta be agencies that take care of that kind of thing, right? I'll, I'll make some calls tomorrow and we'll find someone, don't worry. Mm. What about you? Me? Dad, have you forgotten about what happened when I moved to LA? I actually thought I could flash my degree in environmental studies, join a high-powered watchdog group, and then change the world. Little did I know I'd end up feeling like a tiny fish in a gigantic ball. Ah, well, no shame in that. You were young, huh? you had stars in your eyes, but maybe it's time to get back out there and see what you've been missing. You think I'm missing something? No harm in finding out. Well, that's true. Hmm? Besides, someone definitely has to keep an eye on Ed Doty. Who better than me? I mean, I'm family. Right? But your mother would be proud. But I am not saying that I will stay. If it turns out you're wrong, I'm getting right back on that boat where I belong. And we would be happy to have you back. Cheers to that. Thank you. L.A., baby. <laughs> Are you sure you're gonna be okay while I'm gone? Don't worry about me. You're the one that needs to be careful. Those people drive like maniacs down there. Yes, Dad, I will be careful. And you, tell the crew to go easy on my fishing nets. Rolling straight on the drum like I showed them. I will. Okay. I should go. It's a long drive. Right. I love you. I love you. Hey, Beth. How do you know if a guy's a real fisherman? He leaves his calling card. <laughs> but never on purpose. Bye. We have our regular feature columns, movies, restaurant reviews, celebrity news. You mean gossip? Oh, no, gossip's a bad word around here. We prefer to think of it as celebrity profiles. Hey, how are you coming on that springtime in the city issue? Flowers are blooming, birds are chirping. If there's any romance left in this old town, well, of Catalea, a van or two, find it. Hey, how about we do a piece on that farmer's market on 3rd? Pretty people out and about. Yeah, pawing through all that fresh produce. Sounds pretty romantic to me. I love it. If you're a Brussels sprout. Candace. Oh. Been waiting long? Mm-mm. -mm. Just getting started? Been working since breakfast. The real eyes and ears of the city. Oh, kitty up a tree? Well, that's rich. Coming from the feature editor of a publication that runs such... Serious journalistic items as celebrity pet diets. Very nice. I wonder what that's about. What do you got for me? Please tell me it's an actual assignment. Yep. An actual assignment. You'll love this. Springtime in the city. Vern wants some shots of the Third Street Farmer's Market. Thinks it's very romantic. It's a modern day Green Acres. When do you need a bite? Can you have something for me by Thursday? For you? Anything. That's yours. Thank you. Well! Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, I am so glad you came to visit. You're a tremendous help. Well, somebody has to keep you out of trouble. Uh-huh. Darling, grab one of those boxes. Oh. Okay, let's see. Now, we'll grab a couple. Here's a nice one. Oh, those yellow ones are gorgeous. Where are they? On Stadium, Dancing Lady Orchids. They're my biggest seller. So much personality. Huh. It's funny. That reminds me of someone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's see. What else would a hero like? Have you always liked orchids? Well, I started with African violets, but I got bored. And then I graduated to Anthurium, but they were persnickety. Hmm. And then I discovered orchids. What makes them so special? Well, they're like little people with faces. Don't pansies have faces? Ah, uh, see, now that's different. No pansy face can just smile at you. But an orchid face, well, it's like a person wearing a costume. Kind of like a kabuki mask. That's cute. <laughs> I'm so grateful you're here, Beth. And not just for the help. To be honest, I was a little surprised when I heard that you were coming back here. I didn't think you much cared for L.A. 
Oh, it wasn't just the city. There's other stuff to do. I know. That boy broke your heart. Nearly broke my heart. Good old Captain Dad to the rescue. <laughs> I needed to go home, and he needed another hand on the Maria Elizabeth. It was only supposed to be for a season, but once I got there, it just it felt like it was exactly where I was, I was meant to be, you know? Hmm. And you've been there ever since? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, there. It came in. I think you're going to love it. <gasps> Don't tease me. Huh? Where ah. you go? All right, that should do it. Okay. All right. my best customer. All right, so besides orchids, what's your favorite? Oh, that's easy, foxgloves. Your grandmother always planted foxgloves. What's your favorite? Roses. Red long stem roses. Those are your mother's favorite, too. Mmm, like mother, like daughter. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Hero. Oh, good morning, Dodie. I brought you some dancing ladies. Oh, no. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Enjoy. Hey, I got a new shipment of flowers, just... Speaking of fun assignments, I need you to do me a favor. Sure. I'm at a conference this afternoon. Shutterbot. Third Street Market. All right, where are we taking? Okay. Let's. Coming back full. Well, most runs anyway. Nice. And the crew? Oh, they're all right. They miss you, and they hate the new cook. They say he burns a coffee. What do you mean? Who's the new cook? <laughs> Me. Right. So how's Dodie? Yeah, she's okay. It certainly hasn't uh, put a damper on her spirits. I will say that. I don't know. I just I think she's moving slow. It's a little frustrating for her. So what's the doctor say? He said that as soon as she can handle the steps on her own, I can come home. Probably like two weeks from now, she'll be as good as new. All right, well, the crew wants you back. They're threatening to mutiny, so... Oh. Tell them I miss them, too. <laughs> All right. I love you. I love you, too, sweetheart. Bye, Dad. I got 
got your folder. I hope there's some good stuff in there. Yeah, I think you'll be happy. I actually had fun on this assignment. Oh, noon. Would you check in on Princess? Stop by, take her for a walk. There's a dog park at the end of the street. Sure, yeah, absolutely. I don't think I've met Princess. Mm, she's a cutie. You'll love her. I'll leave a key with the doorman. Great. Now, let's get you paid. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, come on, Gil. Come here. Let me see. Bring your ball. Good girl. So smart, Goldie. You ready? I'm gonna go again. Go! Get your ball. All right, little girl. Let's see if you got some legs on you. I'm gonna keep your leash on. I'm gonna let you go. I don't know you that well. You ready? Here you go. Get it. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. You ready? That's a big one. And go. Oh, no. <gasps> sorry. Sorry, sorry. I wasn't looking. Um. <laughs> oh, hi. Excuse me. Who's this? Is this your friend's Waldo? I, I don't know what that is. That's, uh, <laughs> I really don't know. But her name is Princess. Oh, she's cute. Uh, she belongs to a friend of mine. I just took her for a walk because my friend's at a conference. I love all breeds of dogs. Back home, it's like there's Labradors, Golden Retrievers, German Shepherds. It's about as exciting as it gets. Where's back home? James Harbor, Washington. Okay. I'm Beth, by the way. I'm Jake. Jake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Can't be away from Aunt Odie too long. Oh, right, because we're late. Right, exactly. I can borrow. Goldie, take that out of your mouth! Don't be ashamed if the ball is in your thing. It's okay. Goldie! 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 Come here! Goldie! Goldie. What's your name? What are you doing? This is sorry again. Goldie? Yeah, this is Goldie. Oh, good. I think she likes you in Princess. Yeah. Come here, girl. Human interest stories. Yeah. Came with the biggest pumpkin, that kind of thing. Yeah, I love that. Thanks. Way better than those guys I see on TV. Much. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them here. Mm. What do you think of LA? Well, uh, it's not my first time. Yeah, I used to live here. Okay. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get out much. Bike. But you ride? Yeah, yeah. I love riding. Where do you ride? San Vicente. I love San Vicente. We should go riding sometime. I'd love that. Yeah, maybe sometime, yeah. Tomorrow, that's not sometime, right? <sighs> it depends on my aunt. Of course, of course. Yeah, I get it. Strange guy at a dog park with an even stranger looking dog. <laughs> I get it. It's a lot. You can never be too careful. No offense, Jake, but uh, I have wrestled a few 80 pound salmon to the dog. <laughs> okay. After doing that, you and Princess don't seem too scary. Good. Good. Is that a yes? It's a yes. Great. San Vicente tomorrow. What time? 1.30. I'll meet you at uh, 3rd Street in San Vicente. Mm -hmm. Bye, Jake. Okay, wait. Come on, Goldie. Good girl, come Hi, on. Goldie. Goldie, we're going to go this way. I'm telling you this dog. I know. Goldie, Goldie. Goldie, very sorry. I'm too much to stay with you. Yeah, okay. Goldie. We can stay together. Come on, Goldie. Live a life together, Goldie. Let's go this way, Goldie. Come on, good girl. Bye. Bye, princess. Bye, Matt. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye, princess. Bye. See you. Goldie. So, I've done a little bit of internet research. Ooh. And I've prepared a few questions. All right, what you got? 
What is a sloop? A sloop is a square rigged sailing boat with one mast. Okay, is that like a, a catch? No, no, no. A catch has two masts. Two masts. The mizzen in front of the helm, that's what makes it a catch. Of course, of course. Is yours a catch? No, no, no. <laughs> it catches a sailing boat. Ours is a fishing boat. Okay. A gill netter? Exactly. Yes. Do you get yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me get this straight. You're just out there in the middle of the ocean, bobbing around, throwing nets? <laughs> no, that is what the crew does. Okay. Me, I am the first mate. Oh, you're upper management? Oh, yeah. Those glasses are for you then. Thank you. Has you ever run into the great white whale, Moby Dick? <laughs> no, but we have seen a bunch of orcas. They're beautiful. I bet. Excuse me, miss. You were going to pay for that? Pay for what? The scarf that you just put in your purse. <laughs> are you are you accusing me of stealing? Do you know who I am? I just saw you put the scarf oh, in your on. purse. You are no, absolutely. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. I see. You up for gelato? Oh, always. Let me guess. Some red. Strawberry. How did you know? You just seem like a strawberry kind of girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two strawberries, please. Keep that change if you don't mind. So, has LA seem different from the last time you're here? No, not really. Okay. I mean, if anything, it seems to be raining more than I remember. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you may have brought the weather down from Washington. <laughs> okay, sure. You know, I have to say, I think the traffic has actually gotten worse. If it weren't for Aunt Dodie's bike, I don't think I'd ever make it anywhere. Also, it's nice to offset my carbon footprint for a few weeks, though. You environmentalist? Mm-hmm. Now that I've gotten used to waking up to the sun peeking through the fog as it wraps around the mountains and the sound of water lapping at the shore, how could I not be? I mean, this sounds very romantic. Actually, it is magical. <laughs> it does kind of feel like I'm playing hooky, though. It's been a long time since I've been away from the crew. Well, it's got to be nice, you know? Taking a little break in the L.A. sunshine, relaxing. Mm -hmm. Haven't taken a break in a while from the... Guys, come on, let me... Hustle. You mean you don't do this every day? I do eat things other than gelato. Oh, you do? Uh... I'm sorry. Do you mind if I take this? No, go. go. Sure. Go ahead. It's a very Los Angeles thing to do. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Shadaran. Someone just got busted for shoplifting, and it's none other than the media darling herself, Devin Davies. You better hurry. No, 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 no. You don't need to check it, me. No, we need to check. No, no. no. get your hands. No. I can't make it. I'm, uh, I'm busy at the moment. Busy? Jake, are you serious? The cops aren't even here yet. It's an exclusive for our taking. Where? Not Rosa George, south of Montana. All right, I'll be there. Thanks for the tip. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Sorry about that. Um, something's kind of come up at work. Would you mind terribly if I... Oh, go, go. You sure? Of course. Can I call you? Please. Okay. Enjoy the sunshine. just isn't enough for some people. For you. Thank you. Welcome. So, have you been enjoying your time back in L.A.? Yeah, yeah, just uh, exploring, you know. Hmm. All by your lonesome? Yeah. Oh, Beth Plimsoll, you know that you can't keep a secret. It's the family. Curse. Try to lie and those ears light up like a barber pole. Okay, well, I 
might have met someone. Uh Uh-huh. See, I knew it. I was wondering why you wanted to rush out of the house to that bike ride today. Why didn't you say anything? Well, I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. We just met. Mm. He's nice. Mm. Actually, he's really sweet. He's funny. And he has this weird knack of knowing just what to say. Mm. We met at the dog park of all places. Mm -hmm. He was walking this little pug. We just started talking and... If it turns out we actually have a lot in common. We both like the same trails. We both love the farmer's market. And he gets my favorite ice cream flavor. Oh. Actually, it's kind of weird. What is? Well, we just met, but it feels like he's known me a lot longer. So does Prince Charming have a name? He does, yes. Jacob. Huh? Call him Jake. Jake Meyer. And when do I get to meet the illustrious Mr. Meyer? Well, and Dodie, I just met him. Oh, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, here's what we'll do. See how the... You're on training wheels? Mm -hmm, I was, yes. I was too busy learning how to find the best spots for freshwater salmon fish. The next couple of bike rides go. If he still makes you smile like that, then we invite him for dinner, and I will make the special chowder. That will tell us exactly what we need to know about Mr. Jacob Meyer. So she wants to do what? Meet you. Okay. I may have very casually mentioned you in conversation. And All right. Now she is insisting on making you dinner. Dinner? Mm-hmm. Wow. When? Tonight. Tonight? I love it. <gasps> you do? Of course. Good, because I got the shopping list right here. Great. Very detailed. She's uh-huh. leaving nothing to chance. As she shouldn't. She's actually making her famous clam chowder. Now, I shouldn't be telling you this, but it would help if this was the best clam chowder you have ever tasted. This sounds concerning, is it not? Oh, no, 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 it's good, it's good. She claims it has a secret ingredient. I think the secret is she uses double the cooking sherry. Sherry, I can deal with sherry. Good, good. Okay, cauliflower, leeks, let's do two onions, please. Two onions, Mm -hmm. and that, done. And three potatoes. Potatoes, big ones. Perfect. Done. So strong. Thank you. Right this way. Yes, ma'am. So, when did you get your first bike? Uh, I was six. Didn't know how to ride it until I was eight. Man, a lot of times. Of course you were. What am I thinking? Yeah, if you ever want to find the fattest salmon in peak season, I'm your girl. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> and what about you? When did you get your first bike? First bicycle when I was five. First bike when I was 16. Oh, do you mean like a motorbike? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, uh, I worked every summer for my uncle to pay it off. So you're one of those cool photographers. I'm full of surprises. <laughs> oh, I'm out of water. I'm going to need to stop and get more on the way home. Yeah, I'm right around the corner. We can fill up there. Come on. Come on in. Ooh. Hey, don't judge. All right. Make yourself at home. Don't mind me. I'm just going to hide the incriminating evidence. <laughs> your dirty clothes not that incriminating. Did you take these? Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. Jake, they're beautiful. Why didn't you tell me this is what you do? Because well, it's not, not anymore. Yeah, it's kind of a lost art form, anyway. I used to think the desert was so lonely. I don't know, since I work on the water, I think they're kind of the same. Not lonely, they're peaceful. Light, that one is Gorgeous. Did you do that on my computer? No. No, I did it with this right here. What's that? It's so old. Oh, easy. She can hear you. Sorry, sorry. She's got feelings. <laughs> uh, the uh, light is playing with the shadows, constantly moving. Mm-hmm. Uh, this used to be the best there was. It still is. Mm-hmm. I took this to the moon, you know. It's loud. Yes. It's because it's not some wimpy click or beep. It's a good old-fashioned kachunk. Hold on, who's that? Beth? Me? It on is. the runway? It's me, Beth. Who's she wearing? Work it, girl. Look wow. at me go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's, whose collection is that? This is, this is from my house. Beautiful. <laughs> Hold on. Hold it right there. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah, don't move. The light is perfect. I'm embarrassed. I'm sorry. It's okay. I get carried away when I'm behind the lights. I apologize. Can I see? Yeah. 
Yeah, you want to try it? Mm-hmm. Right. Two hands. Yep. You're looking through the top. Okay. How do you feel about these uh, shadows right here? You want to frame that up? Mm-hmm. Wait, why does it look blurry? Oh, yeah, this lens is... Do you mind? Oh, yeah, no, please. Okay. So right here is your focus. Mm-hmm. Down here. This is where you take the picture. You feel that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So on this lens, focus is crucial. Okay. How's that? Good. You see a possibility, so just take your time. Frame it up. And then when you feel it, hit that button. How do I know when? I don't know. <clears throat> Aunt Dodie, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm with him right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll talk later. Okay, bye-bye, bye. Sorry, um, <clears throat> I had to water my aunt's orchids. Okay. She like orchids? Oh, love them. So, say six for dinner? Yeah. You have the address? I do. Great. Okay. Uh, yeah. Shall I bring anything? No, no, no. Thank you. Do you have a sign? What is it? I've got a meeting. What do you think of this? Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. I'm going to have to cook for you sometime. You cook? Don't judge it. It's gorgeous. This is exactly what we need. It's one of Jake Myers. Who? He's a freelancer. One of our best. I think we should run this. Your call. Going to introduce us. Sorry, Aunt Dodie, this is Jake Meyer. Jake and Dodie. This is for you. Oh. I'm just going to place it over here with the many others that you also have. A frivolous phalaenopsis. That's one of my favorites. How did you know? Lucky guess. Hmm. Well, uh, we don't need to congregate here. Why don't you come in after you? Thank you. <laughs> oh, start you two, please. Don't wait for me. Okay, it smells delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, wow. it's incredible. Yes. <laughs> I've never had anything quite like it. <laughs> yeah, that is a Plimsoll family recipe passed down from my great great grandmother. Uh, this is lovely. A photographer by his camera. All right, okay. This also has a secret ingredient. Oh, yeah. She wouldn't even tell me until I swore on a stack of Bibles. Of course. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's hear it. Oh, what good's the secret of everyone else? Yes. I double up on the cooking sherry. <gasps> and Dodie! You just gave it up like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I won't tell us so. Now, Beth says that you are a wonderful photographer. Do you do that for a living? Um, yeah, I'm a, uh, what you call a stringer? I take photos for different outlets, news, feature pieces, that kind of thing. I am, uh, was telling her about the pictures in your apartment. They're so beautiful, they should be in a book. Thank you. They are, actually, or they were. I published a collection years ago. It wasn't exactly a bestseller. Why not? I just don't think it's what people want anymore. You used to have to wait for hours to take the perfect photo. Nowadays, everything's digital, composited. All you need is a phone and a computer. I don't think people see the beauty and the little things anymore. And what's right in front of them. Well, I think you're very talented. And I am going to order that book. <sighs> I think it might be tough. I don't think there's any left. What? I sold five. 
uh, mom got three, and the rest ended up on some bargain table where books go to die, so. Oh. Well, I've successfully killed the vibe here. Did you always know you wanted to be an artist? Uh, I mean, yeah. Always tried to capture that. <laughs> Get these out of oh, here. Charlie, let me help you. No, 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 you're good. Are you Thank sure? you for offering. Yeah, of course. There you go. So, what are your intentions with my niece, if I may ask? Intentions? Well, everybody's got intentions. Nothing wrong with that. What are yours? I really like her. Well, of course you do. She's an absolute treasure. <laughs> no argument there. <laughs> Jacob, you are a charming boy. It is no wonder that my Beth is fond of you. But there is something that you need to understand. Yes. Beth has been hurt before, so she doesn't let her guard down easily. She's only ever really fallen hard for one boy, but <sighs> once was plenty. She thought that he was the one. So like I said, everybody's got their intentions and yours are to be an honorable gentleman and mine are to do everything i can to make sure that nothing like that ever happens to her again not if i have something to say about it do i make myself clear yes ma'am how are you two Good. what i miss oh nothing serious darling we're just getting acquainted A little chit chat between friends the beauty of things in a certain light so that I can share what may otherwise be overlooked. Oh. I mean, I hope that my art encouraged people to see things that way. Well, what about you? you? Always want to save the world? Well, I've always loved nature. I've always wanted to protect it. But I don't really want to be the poster girl for that, you know? Mm -hmm. Make it all about me. I think change can be just as powerful when it's done on a smaller scale. So I still advocate for living in harmony with the environment, just like in a different way than I used to. This is incredibly admirable. Thank you, thank you. Also, I just like being out on the water, so there's that too. Yeah, I used to always think that I'm somewhere quieter than LA, but my life is full of changes. I think I'm learning to go with the flow. Sounds like the sea. It does sound like the sea. It's better be good. Oh, it's better than good. It is the best. Look who made the front cover. Where did you get this? What do you mean? It was with all the others. No. No, 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 no. You weren't supposed to have this one. This is a mistake. It's a terrible mistake. I thought you would be thrilled. When does this go out? It already has. It hit the newsstands an hour ago. Oh. Wait, where are you going? To Warner. Who? Her. Really doesn't matter. They are all the same. Beth? And Jody? So Goldie was a run, but you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm off for the underdog. So <laughs> no, I yeah. took a look at those puppies, and I saw her. We connected eyes, and I went, hey, excuse me. <laughs> Darling, that's you. <laughs> oh. oh. What is that? Darling, I think we should get going now. Come on. <laughs> Hi there. Everybody's here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, oh selfies. Ah. Everybody, all around. Oh, Hi. hello. Oh. Okay, that's enough. Everybody, out of the way. Girls, coming through. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yep, yep. Excuse, excuse us. us. Okay, she says go to the Google. I am on Google. He is on. He is on Google. Okay, now type in the flower girl. Flower girl, like Daisy, not like whole wheat. <laughs> Guys, guys, are you focused? Sorry. Holy cow. There's dozens of them. There it is. FB, IG, all the socials. Click on one. Which one? Wow. Beth, that... 
That's beautiful. You say this is in a magazine? Dad, it was on the cover. And now it's everywhere. It was like I went to sleep last night, woke up this morning, and walked out on some stage in front of the whole world. So you're saying that somebody can just take your picture, splash it all over creation, and not ask you permission? Like, what kind of a person does that? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. It's you. It's me. Hi. Who did this? That would be me. Wow, so you're the cover girl, live and in person. Yes, it's me, and I'm trying to find out who did this. All it says is Shutterbot. Well, I'm afraid I can't give that information out, Ms. I didn't give anyone permission to print this. Well, that doesn't really matter. As long as it's not for commercial exploitation and was taken in a public place, it's perfectly legal. It happens all the time. Um, it's called... An uh, invasion of privacy. Well, we prefer to call it photojournalism. It really doesn't matter what it's called. Who is Shutterbot? I'm afraid I can't tell you that. Why not? Look, if he wanted the public to know his real name, he would have used it. But I can tell you this. He does specialize in shooting celebrities, so you are in great company. But here's what I can do. If you'd like to leave your name and number, I can try to get a message to him. Really? Well, I said it. You want it on the phone? Hurry! It sounds important. Come on, girl, let's clean you up. I can try. Can't promise anything, so don't get your hopes up. Okay. And uh, your name again? My name is Beth. Beth Plimsoll. Beth Plimsoll. And the number where you can be reached. My hands stop upon the man on the jukebox And then we start to dance And I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love Your love was handmade for somebody like me Come on now, follow my lead I may be crazy, don't mind me Say, boy, let's not talk too much Grab on my waist and put that body on me Come on now, follow my lead Come, come on now, follow my lead mm -hmm. I'm in love with the shape of you No, I'm sorry, I think you have the wrong... Oh, um, yes, I, uh, I just need to think about that. I'll let you know tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye, bye. That was the Claire Delito show. They want me on as a guest. Of course they do. And you're going to tell them yes, there is no question about it. One question, why me? Because you're the girl in the picture, silly. <laughs> Welcome back. We are coming to you live from Santa Monica at the 3rd Street Farmer's Market. Now, the whole country has been looking for our next guest, but we found her. You may know her simply as the flower girl, but please welcome Beth Plimsoll to the show. Beth, welcome. It's nice to meet you. Have a seat. Oh, thank you. How does it feel to be an overnight cyber celebrity? It's so overwhelming. <laughs> I can imagine. So, for those of you who don't know, Beth was the unwitting subject of a photograph that appeared in a weekly magazine here in Los Angeles that has since gone viral. This was just a, a candid shot, correct? Totally candid. You didn't even know that it was being taken? You didn't know the photographer? No, no, I still don't, actually. And nobody has come forward to say, hey, I'm the one that made you famous? No, but I wish they would. I would really like to talk to them. <laughs> so would we. It's weird. I don't know what he's so afraid of. I'm not going to bite. Maybe he doesn't know that. Hey, are you catching this? That's incredible. How did they find her so quick? Mm, maybe they had a little help. Oh, you gave them her number. I did. Listen, we'll talk later. Now, celebrity photos going viral is very much a Los Angeles thing. But you don't even live here, do you? No, no, I actually work on my dad's fishing boat up north. 
What is it about this picture that you think has captured everyone's imagination? I mean, it is a beautiful shot. Thank you. But there's got to be more than that. What is it? I think it is a private moment of a person appreciating something beautiful. Private moment. Now shared by millions of strangers. <laughs> Maybe only semi-private. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you received any offers? I mean, you can't even appear in a surveillance video in this town and not get offers, and do not ask me how I know that. <laughs> I have had a couple, yes. Not for talk show, though, right? Please, we have enough competition already. We will find out that answer when we come back. So, it's like being your very own meme. Oh, it's like since that show, my phone hasn't stopped ringing. There's this florist guy that wants to use my picture for his billboards, and this talent agent is calling. It's Wild. Sign a Shutterbot? No. Maybe he thinks that you might blame him for all this hoopla. After you. Oh, I love this place. Get you a little pillow here. Oh, it's very chivalrous. Thank you. Think? I uh got you a little something. <gasps> you did? It's not much, but. Um... Oh, Jake. Oh, that's beautiful. Where did you get this? Took it. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, I didn't. I took it off the internet like uh, everybody else. I just did my little magic on it. Uh, I also took the liberty of giving it a proper title. Death Flower Girl. You think old Shutter Puss would mind you changing the name? Tell if you don't. Really, that is so lovely. Thank you. Listen, everybody's trying to get her. Agents, managers, everyone. It was good, yeah. He um he says he wants to be my agent. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna tell you, son, with any of those people, you'll fall through the cracks. You need someone who's willing to work for you. I mean, really work for you. Like you, they're number one client. Oops, she's here. Wish me luck. Ah, the face that launched a thousand oh, clicks. Oh, hi, hi. Hi, Richie Rosebrook. Uh, Beth Plimsoll. Please, oh. join me. Thank you. Oh, man, uh, could we get some menus over here, please? Been a wild ride, I bet, past couple weeks. It's crazy, all of us from one picture. Oh, no. it's, it's not just the picture. It's you. You have been blessed with the perfect life. Oh. Natural, outdoorsy. Listen, I'm going to be up front with you. Okay. I've got three ad agencies right now, today. Right this very minute, that are looking for the next fresh face. And all I gotta say is, you want the flower girl? <sighs> you got her. <laughs> That's so exciting. <laughs> and Cody? Out here, in the greenhouse. What are you doing here? Well, I live here, according to the name on the gas bill. No, 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 I mean, you came down the steps all by yourself. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Don't be so surprised. While you were out romancing, I was working the steps. Oh. You didn't think I was going to be helpless forever. Well, just... Hmm. Oh, but enough about me. How was lunch? Does he think he can get you work? I don't know, apparently. Well, you're going to have to make up your mind. I was actually hoping for some advice here. I think this is something you are going to need to decide for yourself. Are you home for dinner? Um. Oh, I... it's all right. Have a very good time. Just don't wait, Goldie, when you tiptoe in. Right. Mm -hmm. I won't. Sorry about that. <laughs> Have fun. Bye. <laughs> well, that was. Go ahead. It's delicious. Do you mean that? 100%. Good. Yep, I like I can get recipes everywhere I travel. Where was tonight's from? 
tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, this one was from a road trip down to Baja. Ooh. I was shooting coastal landscapes, and a local from La Paz asked me to shoot his restaurant. And after having a meal you just had, we agreed that uh, his recipe would be fair exchange. Oh, yeah, I'll say. Most people collect souvenirs. I collect recipes. They're a lot more, uh... Tasty. Exactly. Cheers. Cheers. It's kind of like being out in the ocean. Good. So did you, uh, talk to that agent? Mm. Yeah, I met with him today, actually. Oh. He has a bunch of ideas about what I can do. Meetings lined up. Something you want to do? Well, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but it might be kind of fun to live in the big city again. Obviously, I know, different than working on the boat. I mean, slightly. <laughs> you wouldn't miss it. Of course. What if I'm getting a little too comfortable at sea? I think it might be good for me to do something different for a while. I mean, yeah, why not? This, this life that this agent is selling you, does this feel like it's you? I don't know. <laughs> But I'm not afraid to find out. Anything that keeps you here is just fine by me. How do you feel about tonight's festivities? Good. You want to get out of here? Yes, please. Jake Meyer. Yes. What is this place? This is my buddy's place. He lets me come here whenever he's out of town. Look at the stars. No one ever told me you could see stars like this in L.A. Yeah. Maybe they're not looking. Well, I just can't see the beauty that's right in front of them. <laughs> really? I mean, kind of. It's close. Okay. I tried. <laughs> Thought it might be nice for you to have a little slice of home in all this madness. All right, have a seat. Thank you. You know, maybe there's more to this city than I thought. What if I was wrong? What if this is where I belong? Thank you. Well, I think you can belong wherever you'd like to belong. Just gonna look up. Also helps if you know a few places like this one, hey? It really, really doesn't hurt. <laughs> Thank you. And what about you? Does LA feel like home? I don't know that anyone really feels like home for me. Is that why you travel so much? Probably. It's probably a big part of it. I mean, the city did give me the one thing that I think I'm born to do. But even when you find that, it can still feel like something's missing. Yeah, I don't know if something's missing for me. Or maybe I have it all. Whatever you decide to do with all this, just don't lose yourself in it. Because yourself is what everybody's falling for. We'll have to go somewhere else. Isn't this your office? It's crazy. All this from one picture. You know what? I think maybe people are just seeing what I'm seeing. That you are a whole lot more than just a flower girl. So this agent says that I have a natural look and he loves that I work on a boat. Well, what does Dodie think? Oh, she's thrilled. Says we should go in together. She thinks we can pass as sisters. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, I know they're crazy down there, but I don't think they're that crazy. I heard that. Hey, go back to your orchids, you aging flower <laughs> child. <laughs> Beth, just be careful down there. Thank you, Dad. Over here. 
Hi. Hi. I'm glad I caught you. Yes, absolutely. You'll never guess what happened. What? Oh, a roaches. Total infestation. Crazy, huh? You know the kind of rent they get for this place? And I asked specifically for an office next to the cafeteria. That'd be convenient for clients, you know? But listen, enough about that. Just wait until you hear the news. You're not gonna believe it. You ready? Ready. I got you a national spot. What is a national spot? It's a TV commercial oh. that will play on every set in the country. You'll be everywhere. Mm. What would I be selling? Prosperity. It's a new financial services company. They want a strong, competent, working woman. Someone who you can trust on how to handle your finances. Yeah, I don't know if that's me. Well, they wanted someone fresh, accessible. When I told them I could get the flower girl, they absolutely flipped. The agency guys had seen you on TV. They said you'd be perfect. Okay, would I be playing myself? You'd be playing a version of yourself. Your character is down to earth. The girl next door, real, natural. You're at a party. It's elegant, sophisticated. You're at the height of your career as a professional woman. And that's when you tell the audience, you could do this forever. Or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Does that sound cool to you? Uh, yeah. Oh, I uh, almost forgot. Some paperwork for the... Oh, ancient water under a very, very distant bridge. Commercial. Oh, right, right. Contract. Oh, um, can I actually look this over first? Sure. Take your time. Okay. It's a big opportunity. Could be life changing. All right, I'll let you know tomorrow. Yep, yeah, I'll make it first thing. They were waiting for an answer. I mean, it seems pretty standard. Boilerplate, mostly. Who can do what to who and why? You think I should sign it? You're asking me? Mm -hmm. Wait, shouldn't you ask your agent that? Oh, this. This is your agent. Correct. Of there course. You go. Of Jake. course. <laughs> it's like tides and currents that I can do, but this I just I don't want to get in over my head. When have you ever been in over your head? Ooh, you haven't asked me why I left LA. When did you? I was seeing this guy. He was smart, funny. Okay. Don't worry, you're funnier. Thank you. He's <laughs> an environmental lawyer. I was a witness in one of his cases, and together we were going to change the world. Did you? My world, maybe. It turns out there was a lot about himself he wasn't willing to share. Promises that were never kept. It's like what you see isn't always what you get. I'm sorry. Should I trust this guy? Reveal my smiling face to the world? I think you should do whatever you want to do. What if it helps? I can tag along. Oh. Keep you company. Please, yes, thank you. Help me face the storm. Spoken like a true sailor. <laughs> you know what, actually, there is one more thing. If you could just come here. Sure. What was that? It's what the fishermen's wives would do before they went to see you. Never. Good luck. They said they'd be here at 7. Sweetie Pie, it's only 7.05. That is still considered early for around here. Now just relax and have some tea. There's a galley winch on a boat. I'm not a model. There's your ride. Now remember what I said. You go out there and show them what us plimsolls are made of. Okay, bye, Aunt Odie. Okay, well, hang oh, on a yes. second. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. My clients deserve the best. Somebody will come and get you when it's time for makeup, hair, and wardrobe. Well, what do you think? Now we are going for real and natural. Oh, this? This is you? I get my own trailer? Yeah. That's so cool. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to be great. Enjoy them all. Take a leg. Oh! On the picture, your shutter. Jake's friend. Do you know Jake? 
<laughs> Sweetheart, everyone knows Jake. I'll be back with your wardrobe once your hair and makeup are done. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, oh, oh, don't worry. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Janice. Hey. Jake. What are you doing here? Working. Oh, I met that flower girl friend of yours. Yeah, how's she, uh, how's she doing? Oh, she's loving it. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I gotta go, but uh, she should be done soon if you stick around. Sure. <laughs> I'll see you later, Jen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah! <laughs> there she is, the star. Oh, come on, you are. What is it? Gee, this is not what I signed up for. Oh, no, no, no. I, I like it. And trust me, it gets better. Now, come on. They want you on set. I'm so sorry. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? They need you on set right now. I know, I know. It's just, it's too much. You're right. Trust me, I, I didn't know that they would go so far. So let's just get you back in the chair. No, 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 no. It isn't right. The hair, the makeup, the dress. It just, it isn't me. Look, why don't I talk to the director? See what we can do. Does that sound cool to you? Richie, you're not listening to me. I don't want to do this well, anymore. How do I fix the problem? Work with me here. Please, <laughs> listen to me. Hey, Beth. What's happening? Everything okay? Oh, everything's cool. But we're just going to get back, back in our Thank chair. Thank you. Just give us a minute. You're right. Okay, well, get out of here. You don't have to do this. Yeah, don't guys, we're a little pressed for time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's get out of here. Hey, Shutterbot! You work in this show, too? Shutterbot. We gotta do that coffee sometime. You've been holding out on me, man. I'm not asking you. Go home where it's quiet, no one's lying to me, and I can be myself. Again. You're Shutterbot? I can explain everything if you just. You'll understand. I understand. You lied to me. Beth, where are you going? I'm going home. Beth. And you lied to me, too. You're done. Oh, thank you. Have to. Yours, actually. <laughs> You put yourself out there today, darling. You tried. I'm proud of you for that. Really? Mm-hmm. You know, the grass isn't always greener. And that's okay. Even if it hurts. <laughs> oh, one day you will look back on this and laugh. Wonder what the big deal was. Yeah, I wish I hadn't gotten swept away. And that's okay, too. <laughs> Thanks, Antonio. I love you. You'll be okay. <sighs> All right, well, looks like it's back to the salmon. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Oh, I've been okay for a while now. It was just so wonderful having you here. I haven't wanted to let on. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to stay? Yeah, yeah, I just want to... Well, I don't blame you. And if anyone should come looking for you? Uh, just tell them she was here, but she left. That's all anyone needs to know. Okay. Goodbye, Don. Bye. Thank you for everything. Take care.
Hi, is Beth home? No. No, okay. Uh, I tried calling and leaving messages. Um, could you do me a favor and please give her these for me? I left my number on the note. If you could please get her to call me as soon as she gets back, I'd appreciate it. Oh, dear Jacob. She isn't coming back. She went home. Home? Mm -hmm. Back to the Maria Elizabeth. I asked you what your intentions were, and you said that they were honorable. And I believed you. But that wasn't exactly true, was it? I understand. Believe me. This thing was a... Uh... ...ground on this island and chop her up for firewood. Mm -hmm. Big mistake. But I couldn't help but see her. Truly see her. And to be honest, I'm glad that I'm not the only one. She's not just a girl in a picture. I never thought in a million years I'd be lucky enough to fall in love with her. I had high hopes for you, Jake. But she trusted you. And you betrayed her. Goodbye, Mr. Meyer. Maybe we could try the Narrows next time. I heard another skipper on the radio talking about how he's doing so well there. We could set the nets here and then just drift with the tide. What do you think? Mm hmm. We could try over here. Or maybe over here. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or maybe we could just run around. Cod? She did, it wasn't on point this. <laughs> you missed that boy, huh? He used me, Dad. He used me and then he lied to me. Yeah, that may be. 
But he also created something beautiful. And anyone who can see you in this way, the way that I've always seen you, can't be all bad. It's good to be home, Dad. Captain Dad. Oh, you. right, right. Get it right. Won't happen again. All right. All right, Captain Dad. Let's have a look at these. Yeah. Sharp. Jacob, please, won't you join me? Absolutely. It was most considerate of you to meet me on such short notice. Of course. It sounded urgent. Well, maybe not as urgent as all that, but it seems that I do have something of yours. This just came. Look familiar? How did she find this? So you didn't send it? No. No, I, uh, this, this wasn't me. <laughs> so it was her. Wow. I guess when you want something bad enough, you just keep looking until eventually you... So, you're the infamous Shutterbot. Jake. Jake Meyer. It's good to... Managed to find it. Jacob, this creates a huge problem for me. It does? It most certainly does. How exactly am I supposed to get that to her? Have you ever tried to have something delivered to a boat? Impossible. You might as well try to deliver it by a flying fish. So, I was wondering if maybe you might be willing to deliver it. You want me to do what? Deliver it. In person, directions are there. Might want to bring along your camera. There's some beautiful country up there. What makes you think that she'll even see me? Well, I guess that all depends on who shows up. A sensitive young man with an eye for beauty? Or a scandal-sniffing Hollywood type who's just in it for a quick buck? Thank you. Good luck. <sighs> Candace, hi. You barely caught me. I'm set it out. Jake, something wonderful's happened. Oh, yeah. How soon can you get here? Not soon. What do you mean? You mean now? I mean right now. Why? What's up? I can't say, but someone important said, get me the guy who shot that photo. To finally meet you, Jake. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, of course. Please, have a seat. Sure. Anywhere? I'm Vern Valine. Huge fan. Always loved your work. Now, you may not know it, but you're a very important guy around here these days. I am. That one issue has generated more online traffic than anything we've published. Ever. And more traffic means more advertising. Ad placements are up by a third this month alone. Your flower girl has been shared, linked, pinned, liked, and dug more times than anything we've ever run. Her name's Beth. Right. Beth. Anyway, here's the deal. Based on the response, we've decided to vote an entire issue to you. It's about time your talent gets the recognition it deserves. If only someone had said something sooner. Well, a, a whole issue. To me. To your work. Yeah, we'll pick a day, turn you loose, let you do your thing. An entire issue dedicated to Shutterbot. Shutterbot's retired. then maybe you can do it as you. Exactly. You can do it as whoever you want. The important thing is that you're the guy that captured the shot of this magnificent girl. And that's what people want to see. So. 
Nothing's impossible these days. What do you say? This is a huge opportunity. Jake, this is everything you've ever really wanted. You're right. You're absolutely right. Then why did you put him off? He wants you to start right away. What do I tell him? Tell him I gotta do something first. I heard somebody very special. I need to make that right. I hope you know what you're doing. Vern's offer isn't gonna last forever. I know. Thank you, Kenny. I appreciate it a lot. I should have noticed sooner. I've been away for longer. But now the worst is over. I can begin to make it better now. Expecting someone? No, why? Looks like someone's expecting you. It's impossible. Go on. Go and show them how a real sailor does it. Where's your camera? Packed away. No one working up there on the dock? No, just me. What's in there? I found a copy. Yeah. Apparently my mother wasn't the only one who had one after all. Did you come all the way out here just to give me that? It was Dodie's idea. She insisted. She said if I didn't come that uh, she'd have to use a flying fish. Classic Dodie. Yeah. You really didn't have to go through all that trouble to find it. I know, but I wanted to. I didn't mean to hurt you. Please believe that. I get that you believe that. Would it help if um, I told you? Hey, first mate! You, uh, you plan on snubbing up that line anytime soon before we drift back out to sea? What are you talking about, Dad? She's secure. Good for me here. It's not glamorous, I know, but... Hey, you, young man. Yes, sir. Be advised. Distracting a crew member and interfering with the safe operation of a commercial vessel is a serious crime. Punishable by, uh, dinner. Aye, aye, Captain. I don't get it. Why didn't you just tell me? I wanted to. I even tried to. I was afraid that if you knew about Shutterbot, it would change everything. And how long were you planning on stringing me along for? I guess until you knew me well enough that it wouldn't matter. Jake, I knew you well enough from the moment I saw you. So, how long do you think you can stay for? At least until I run out of film. I've got a lot of film. Well, Unfortunately, that is not going to take you long. You put your camera in any direction and see something beautiful. I noticed that. No, not me, the standing beauty. I noticed that too. <laughs> oh, it's... This is where I belong. You're beautiful wherever you are. And wherever you are, that's where I want to be. I don't know how it happened. Somehow, I managed to capture all of you. 
and that one photo. Your courage, your kindness, your soul. You made me want to be an artist again. It's probably you. Wow. That's a pretty sweet talk over yeah. a city flicker. I was slaying on thick. <laughs> Too much? <laughs> no, I like that. I think you can learn how to trust me again. You know what they say? They say time and tide wait for no man. If these past few weeks have taught me anything, it's that we really have no idea what could possibly happen tomorrow. But being with you makes me so excited to find out what's going to happen next. I feel good when I find a friend and they let me in. I feel at home. I feel at home. I'd say that's a pretty good start. Comfy? Yes. You got your camera packed? Of course. <laughs> All right.